So how did you even have the bravery oh, that's... to talk about this in the first place? I mean, I was living a complete lie behind closed doors. And I just, I just want it to be known that, you know, abuse can happen to anyone and it predominantly happens to women. So I had to speak out about it. And plus I wanted to make sense of what, how did I get here? How is my life been living? Have I lived like that for so long? And where is everyone? Where are my friends? Where are my family? So I wanted to kind of, like a diary to myself, so I wasn't going crazy. So I called my, my dear friend, Louise Gannon. She came over to LA and she was like, right, you know, I want you to write this book with me. And she was like, right, so where do we start? And I just completely clammed up. Because then I thought, oh my God, I don't want to write this book. It's, it's, like, it's like dirty and tabooish and it's a dark secret. And you know, I'm patron of women's aid, so I deal and talk with a lot of survivors and I do a lot of campaigning. And my story is exactly like everybody else's story that's been abused. In the person comes into your life like God's gift and you are completely love-bombed. You think, oh, my God, this is amazing. This, he's so special. He's so, like, protective and showers me with confidence and love and just adores me. And then once the love-bombing kind of dies down, they start chip chipping away at your, maybe your personality or what colour dress you're wearing or, you know, you, you book lunch with your friends and all of a sudden, oh, the lunch got cancelled because he's taking you out to dinner. So now the friend has just been ignored and then the friend gets ignored the next week and the next week and then the friend is completely out of the picture because they're slowly isolating you because when they isolate you, you've got nowhere to turn apart from to them.